Hi Virgo, welcome to your reading for March 17th through the 23rd. It's actually the 19th today as I'm recording this, um, but this is for the crazy Aries astrology coming up, so it'll last for like all through April. Um, we have a full moon eclipse on the 25th. We enter Aries season tomorrow. A week from now we have the Mercury retrograde, and then we have a solar eclipse so it's just a fun gym jam of energies. <laughs> in any case, if you want a free reading on the 23rd, you want to enter to win that, just put free reading in the comments. Um, what else? You can book a personal with me, check out my Etsy, all that information is in the description box below. Otherwise, let's get started. All right, Virgo, Spirit, please protect this reading. Send any negative energy back to sender. Transmuted tenfold for the greatest good of all. Amen, amen. So mode be. Archangel Michael, please bring clear messages through for my Virgo collective. Mother Mary, bring compassion to this reading and these messages. Amen. King of Wands, the Hermit, that's you showing up. Okay. The tower reversed, the devil, oh my gosh. Virgo, what's going on here? <laughs> okay, you got four majors right out the gate, um, including yourself. So the king of wands is somebody who knows what he wants. He takes action, he's inspired by the divine, he's crowned, his crown chakra is open, his kundalini is like active, He's aware. There's a staff in the hand of this King of Wands as well as the Hermit. Um, and the staff indicates magic, especially as a snake, like in the story of Moses. Um, so you might actually be encountering, or you have recently encountered in the past, your ability to take this divinely inspired action in your life and not experience tower moments. Um, currently where you're at is like maybe you thought everything was going to fall apart or where you would have in the past you're currently having faith. I took action according to the divine's plan for me because I'm in communication with the divine and my life is not falling apart. <laughs> so that's awesome. Um, we have Leo, Virgo, Scorpio, and Aries. This is the Aries season that we're entering. Um, Capricorn, and then air signs. I always associate this with Aquarius, but it could be any air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You might have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in your chart, um, Capricorn, Scorpio, Aries. So what is this King of Wands? Seven of Cups reversed. Decision. You, you make clear, concise decisions. Um, you are under no illusions. You are, there are no veils of illusion before you. You know exactly what it is that you're doing, what it is you want, and you're, you've taken that action. What is the Hermit for Virgo here? You are secretly doing this though. You're moving in silence. You may understand the power of silence to inform manifestation. When we speak about our manifestations, for example, to others, it takes not only that energy away, which is why we have these two staffs here. That is divine energy um, coming down into your Shishumna and rising up. This is your connection with the divine. It takes that energy away to speak about your plans, but also it is um, allowing those who we tell about our manifestations to color them with doubt in their own minds. And collective manifestation is very powerful. So if we tell people about our manifestations and they even have that shred of doubt, whether it comes from jealousy um, that could be even subconscious, like, oh, this person knows what they want, they go do it, they get it, like, why can't I do that? Um, that colors your manifestations and they come out warbled. Um, so you're just doing your thing, knowing exactly what it is you want, trusting your divine connection, and keeping it to yourself. And that's a big deal. That's hard to do. It's, it's really difficult to just keep your 
yeah, to yourself. <laughs> um, what is the tower reversed for Virgo? The Knight of Wands reversed? Hmm, interesting. Very interesting. Um, the Knight of Wands reversed. Like upright, he's like a fleeting in and out type character. But reverse, he's like, I'm getting an image of a cat that plays with a mouse and doesn't intend to eat it. The chariot. Uh -huh. Okay, so the Knight of Wands reverse with the Tower reverse is you not letting anything distract you from your Ten of Pentacles. Um, you know exactly what it is you're aiming for, what it is you want, how to get it, especially through your connection with the Divine. You're not talking to anybody about it. You're not letting anything else distract you. You haven't experienced this Tower moment. You've avoided it because you've avoided distraction, and you're very quickly moving forward. You might be getting a new car. You might be coming into a state of like mental and emotional balance that is like unprecedented for you in some way, especially as you find this security, this stability. This stability is in the shape of the Sephiroth um, or the Kabbalist, Kabbalist, I think that's how you say it, um, Tree of Life, which indicates that the manifestations of your material reality are as such because you've done the work to move through the spiritual, like, sephira. Um, you've conquered your own devils, although there may be one more coming up here. What is this devil? Like a final test. The five of pentacles <laughs> reversed. Oh man, you are learning to overcome your lack mentality. It's so crazy because it's like your Ten of Pentacles is here, like you have it, and you still are charging forward, and you're learning to realize that this desire to just charge forward um, is probably influencing you because of the the season, again, the astrology that we're in, but also it's like a, it's a byproduct of survival mode. Um, I read something today. If you, it was yesterday. If you plant the seeds in the garden and grow the garden, but you don't take the time to enjoy the garden, you it's like you're missing the point or you shouldn't have even gardened to begin with. This is you learning to like take the time to enjoy your garden without that nagging feeling of like, I should be doing something, I should be doing something else. Like what else do I need to do? La, 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 la. Um, which is why the Knight of Swords reverse is here. It's like you're learning to chill that um feeling of external obligation that keeps you from enjoying your ten of pentacles um even if it's just with your thoughts right knight of swords so swords are thoughts communications um how we interpret the communications of others <clears throat> oh, the hierophant awesome um one two three four five six major arcanas with the ten of pentacles on top um you avoided a tower moment didn't get distracted ten of pentacles is here quickly moving forward overcoming your lack mentality by embodying the energy of the hierophant knowing not only in your mind not only in your heart but in your entire energized being that you are you are being influenced by divine will you are in alignment with divine will and you are able to translate that somehow or it is translating somehow into your material material reality you go literally from the five of pentacles reversed to the five in the major arcana that's a huge like flip and it has to do with again your thoughts i think things that you tell yourself or things that you think about yourself that are very likely subconscious about your emotional fulfillment about oh about work eight of pentacles <clears throat> all right uh you 
may believe intrinsically that to receive the emotional fulfillment of the Nine of Cups you need to bust your booty or you need to be perfect. There's something about perfectionism with that Eight of Pentacles. This guy has mastered his task like almost like a, um, I wanted to say a factory worker. That's weird. Almost like you're churning out product after product or you're churning out like achievement after achievement. And there's a point where, and when it looks like you have reached this point in whatever you were doing or are doing, where there's no longer joy in the mastery. You know when you learn something new and, and you get to this point where you can do it thoughtlessly and you're like, oh, this is cool and you might even feel really good about it because, I don't know, it, like this guy, um, say you're a bartender or you were a bartender. You can like flip the bottles and do the bleh behind your back and stuff, but then it becomes like this thing where people are expecting of it of you and then it becomes a requirement for your job. And then in order to get that job, other people have to be able to do crazier things. And you've like set the bar higher, not just for yourself, but for other people. This is you getting to the point where having set the bar, you're like, oh, like I'm good. Um, and you may not even want to be setting any more bars. But again, you go from the five of pentacles reverse to the hierophant. So what is this new, new? new new um the two of wands okay you're not supposed to know you're supposed to have faith in this you've clearly been exploring your faith um and how it translates into action and into the material world without the intervention of your overthinking over analytical mind which is brilliant it's very difficult to do that and i'm super proud of you that's awesome but the two of wands here indicates that by thinking too much about your security and chaining yourself to the necessity of it, you are blocking your way forward. Um, trust instead. There's two wands here, right? This is his, his fire, his energy, what he has energy for. And there's two pillars here, and this is him and the divine. In the high priestess, it's Boaz and Yaquin. He has strength he establishes. Um, this is strength established in the form of like tradition, potentially new tradition. Ooh, that could be the new, new tradition. Okay, what's this new tradition? The sun reverse, the knight of pentacles. Okay, this was in Taurus's reading. Both of these cards were in Taurus's reading. So moving forward slowly, the Knight of Pentacles, one of my favorite, um, let me see if I can find it in the Light Seers, because one of my favorite depictions of the Knight of Pentacles, of course it's come out in every reading and now I'm looking for it and I don't see it, it's in here, um, is in the Light Seers Tarot because he's got his, his shoes off, here we go, and he's just kind of like moving right along, feeling the grass between his toes, and even his horse is just like, look at that, they're all looking around like, dun dun dun. And they're taking their time. Um, death rebirth on the bottom there. So this is about you learning to like stop and smell the roses. Um, the sun reverse indicates happiness for all involved. There is happiness for all involved and there will be more happiness for everyone involved if you can accept the beauty of your garden. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, um, I'm feeling the need to use a different deck, and I don't want to use that one. You know which one I have never used before, and I'm just going to open it while I'm here with you, is this Art Nouveau deck. It has really pretty illustrations, and it just feels like perfect for um, finishing your reading today so thank you i was wondering when i was gonna open this deck um and i'm hoping there's not anything too risque in it because i usually do pre pre-openings like unboxings on my patreon to make sure that <laughs> to make sure that i'm not violating any youtube thingies Ooh, that's so pretty look at there's the back it's a tree of life ace of wands that's really cool. The 
So you might be just mastering using your vital energy, the energy of your Sushumna, um, the energy center that runs up your spine, connecting our higher ethereal energy to our energetic body, as in the Hierophant. Um, you may... You may be experiencing like an urge to break into something new like we just did. Maybe art. Um, it's called Art Nouveau, so it means new art. Maybe you're an artist and you want to do something new. Some, something totally new. Okay. Spirit, please clear out the energies of this deck and bring forth beauty for my Virgos. Five of Swords, the Empress Reverse, the High Priestess Reverse, Ace of Cups Reverse, Judgment Reverse. The Devil Reverse, Ten of Wands. The hangman reverse and the king of cups. That's quite interesting. Um, the king of cups with the five of swords indicates that in a situation where you would like to use your intellect to come out on top you have this five here five of pentacles reverse hierophant you're being encouraged instead to open your heart turn to your emotional self um the tower reverse with the hangman reverse you're seeing something from a new perspective especially um motherhood perhaps or your heart and the importance of your heart in nurturing yourself I usually see these as watermelons but I think that these are strawberries or turnips you might um, eat some root vegetables or plant some root vegetables you might be planting roots growing roots in a space. Maybe you were like the rock that gathered no moss before. Ten of Wands, you're feeling burdened by not following your intuition or not trusting it, not trusting your gut instinct because you fear a devil energy. This devil energy is stagnating emotional energy that is definitely related to this Five of Pentacles lack mentality. So what you do here is you pick up the burden of your spiritual knowledge, your intuition, and I think the Hierophant, no way, and the Lovers. Okay, um, here's the Lovers in this deck. Look at that. Maybe you can see it. Three of Wands reverse means the end of your troubles at the bottom here. And then you have the Hierophant. Ta-da! So the key to moving forward in this situation, energizing your brand new beginning, whatever that is for you, the new artwork of your life, I'm hearing, your garden, enjoying your garden, is clearing out the emotional stagnation of this, like, devil pattern, which for you, with the lovers there, can indicate, and the Empress here, Venus, um, the way that you love, the way you connect with people, especially regarding your communication. Compassion wins. Emotional stability wins. And you're being asked in your advice to focus on that. Move forward steadily. Ten of Wands. Every, every wand here is a burden that's been taken on with the knowledge that um, each of these is a stave around the circle of your sort of 
preferred existence. It's a fence, essentially. He's building a fence. And one of my favorite depictions of this card is in the Woodland Tarot. It's a guy, it's the Ten of Bows, and the guy is carrying it up like a hill um, for his village. So there's definitely something like it takes a village and you're trying to be the whole village. Um, you don't have to be the whole village. <laughs> Other people can help. Um, so I hope that this helped Virgo. If it did, please let me know, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you all next week. Bye.